Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a third party reading for the collective for Twin Flames and High Level Soulmates. And the construction has stopped for a little bit today and you may hear my kids and my parents downstairs. It is a pretty big airy house so with a lot of wind, a lot of windows, <laughs> A lot of beautiful tropical air that I'm finally getting so healing a lot you guys probably even recognize my breathing and all my healing from COVID is pretty much over and done with so let's just fix the camera here guys let's get started I wanted to um, pull uh, a divine masculine energy was coming through very strongly after I did the collective energy update reading so if this if you resonated with that I hope you're watching this because it really um, I wanted to see what's going on with this divine masculine so if you resonated with that then this is a reading for you if you want to do a reading with me send me an email at info at rainawells.com i am putting together some dates where i'm going to be um, doing readings for the entire month of june for you guys so uh yeah let's go i don't have my earphones in so i hope the wind isn't bothering you guys let's see what's going on with this divine masculine because i really felt there was a message coming through here for divine masculine that has been in a very tumultuous area I feel like he's already seen the light, which is coming off the collective reading that I just did. And um, he's been in a very tumultuous place. I'm seeing a lot of manipulation. I'm seeing a lot of black magic. I'm seeing a lot of dark energies. Yeah, exactly what I'm seeing here. So as you can see here, this masculine here has been, he's getting his healing now. There's even like a, there's another face here. Like he's, he's rising and going deep within, actually he's not, rising I should say but this his darkness here is like he's finding his inner purity within himself and there's a lot of support in spirit right now that's really trying to pull him into um, his purity and into his inner knowing and who he is as a soul so as you can see he's he's um, gaining a very deep knowing let's get some more I feel like there's some more info that we need to know what else is going on with this masculine please Gonna keep going here he i feel like he's dealt with a lot of manipulation i don't feel it's just one karmic partner i feel it's family members i think it's friends i think there's a huge karmic cycle of pulling energy from this masculine okay as we can see he's moving through darkness very very swiftly this card reminds me of the knight of swords there's something very quickly that's happening and how he's moving through passionately and trying to balance his dark and light energies this is a very interesting card. I'm not even sure how to take this one. Oh, it's this way. Yeah, this is walking away from things. I feel this is divine feminine energy. I feel like he's recently felt divine feminine just completely turning her back and walking away. And this is, has ignited him to really move through his darkness. I feel like he's also looking at her. The way that these two cards were to show me it's how they came out is like he's looking at her walking away and trying to rush forward and be like, wait a minute. And I feel um, this is all um, telepathic energy, feeling, dream work. And so however you're feeling this um, as you're watching this reading, this is a validation for you guys that your telepathy is dead on. This mask is watching you walk very quickly away from from sadness this feminine has transformed it is completely moving and this masculine is definitely feeling it and wanting to move after her i feel this is a story that's playing out here so let's do this okay it's definitely a story that's playing out so he's he's been going in and doing healing work this entire time is what I'm getting here in regards to well, there's quite a few that came out and finding that pure soul within himself. But as he was doing that, he was just focused on self. I feel this is a very solitude energy. And in that time, he's really started to move through his, his um, healing. But I feel almost like whenever he feels like he's getting close to the divine feminine, she takes off again. It's almost like he can't ever quite catch up to her. And he's watching her again move on. And he's realizing that he needs to transmute his cycles a lot faster. That's really what I'm getting. He needs to stop procrastinating and staying in the seclusion all the time and finding this within himself and sitting in a place of contemplation. Um, because if you notice, this card has got a lot of darkness around it. And so he's, he's just holding it within himself, but he's not putting anything into action. And so every time he does action, she tends to move just two steps ahead of him and is gone again. It almost feels like when he feels like he's getting somewhere, it, it 
completely backfires and I feel that's because he still hasn't mastered the energies of surrendering and letting go and allowing and action all at the same time. It is a very hard, difficult place to get to. Hold on, I need a sip of water. So what I'm getting here is that he's realizing that he has to come into a deeper place of alchemy here. <laughs> it's actually helping him alchemize. So if you haven't heard from your, your divine masculine or um, you're feeling this push and pull in the energies, it's very much divine feminine that is causing um, the masculine to be able to learn more about alchemy. Alchemy is earth magic. It's learning how to connect the higher realms with the lower, the lower, the, sorry, the higher realms with the lower realms and, and, and integrating those energies and learning when to action, knowing when to move, all guided by spirit and knowing um yeah when to rest and when to go within and this is something that this masculine is just learning it's in the center of the reed and so i feel that's more prominent this energy feels like it's kind of dwindling about this runner chaser aspect that's going on in the energies and what's coming to play is this it's a deep knowing of wanting to speak love. I feel like that's like a rosebud coming out of the divine masculine's mouth and realizing that this rosebud is opening up a deep, um, the pineal gland even more, uh, the third eye, the intuition, the deep knowing and helping him move into his intuition and his psychic gifts. I feel his masculine is really learning to listen more to his dreams and his psychic abilities and, and understanding the energy a lot better than he has. And this is beautiful. If you guys play music together, there's definitely something with music that's happening. But this masculine comes to visit the feminine a lot, either through music, through dream work, and through remote viewing. This masculine has been showing up. So Divine Feminines, I'm seeing if you're noticing a shadow in the corner of your eye and you think of your masculine, he's showing up in your physical reality. He's trying to project himself. If you guys haven't seen the show on Netflix called Sense8, I would highly suggest go watching it. It's like the next evolution of human telepathy and evolution process. And I really believe there's something to that. Uh, they're the same creators that wrote The Matrix. So if you like the movie The Matrix, it's all very, um, it's all very much in that same type of um, genre. But this is, um, yeah, he's coming to see her. She's doing her own thing. And he's starting to uh, enhance his physical... Um, abilities here so that he can come and see her so i'm not seeing anything about third party here but we're going this is just the overall energy we're going to see how he feels about third party energy in just a sec but this is where his energy mostly is currently okay he's he knows that he has to still master certain things that come into this place of alchemy but he and he's really trusting this third eye um intuition and trusting the visions that he's getting and look at this he wants to get on this horse another horse but he wants to be fully illuminated this is like christ consciousness lighting up the dark and he wants to ride this horse like a flame towards the feminine this is the outcome that he wants it's like freedom and knowing his purity and being fully lit up here as you see this is still in the past he was still working through some of that darkness trying to move forward with this truth it's almost like he was chasing something he's learned that this back and forth that when he tries to control and push forward instead of allowing it pushes the divine feminine away feminine energy doesn't like that <laughs> we, women don't really like to be chased that's a distorted feminine we enjoy if you're able to meet up in the same vibration and and work together instead of this game of back and forth right and that's the purification process and twin flame separation is to be able to come into that type of unity and he's coming he wants this to be able to be lit up and on his horse and free and uh, uh, look how happy this soul is it's like i am so free i am enjoying this ride and um even if it means that he is alone for a time being is also what i'm getting so that he can learn about this more he's not so focused anymore um on the divine feminine in a way of chasing her instead he's meeting her here when she is in her essence here see how she's like completely in her essence and and he's really coming forward and saying i'm hearing the call and i can meet you in this place so i feel divine feminines if you're watching this like there's definitely something happening in the energies that you're recognizing yourself that there's a merging or some type of nice balance that's happening, but it's not consistent. And so when you do feel that back and forth, um, I'm sorry if you hear my family downstairs, but um, I feel like there's still like some type of uh, back and forth that he's still mastering. Let's see what's going on with the karmic energy with the masculine towards the karmic energy. What is going on with the masculine towards 
the karmic energies, the third party right now, Spirit. Because that's what I was feeling like. He's still dealing with some sabotaging ways. This is the overall energy of where he's at and where he has it in his path. Let's get into a little bit more detailed. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the karmic energies? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the karmic energy? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the karmic energy? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the karmic energy? In the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Take these. Wow. Okay. I feel he's really made his, yeah, made a decision here. He's made his choice here based on the two energies. His overall energy is definitely about working on himself and using the energy of Divine Feminine to learn about how to work in this energy and how to balance himself out. He's really been doing that and going within. What I'm seeing here with the karmic energy is he's feeling here that he's putting his hands up and saying, it's like he's got blood on his hands. He's been stained. He's been bruised. But he's learned from this and he's saying stop. Um, it's almost like I'm setting boundaries here. I'm getting like a whoa back up you're you're siphoning my energy you're taking from me and i'm seeing this as like you know his his skin his his color is coming through his true self is starting to shine through but i almost feel like that's stained he's been stained um yeah i it feels like blood <laughs> it does it feels like he's been bloodied and gone through a very difficult time with this karmic energy he felt very alone he felt there was a, a an array of illusion is what I'm getting. I feel this is the magic that or the energy that the karmic energy was doing towards the masculine and creating an illusion where it kept him very stuck in this little ball, you know, and he couldn't see past that illusion. It seemed like it was a beautiful fantasy, but it really wasn't because we have these two cards here where he ends up praying. And, and I feel this is the karmic energy that the more that he had to find his way out of those energies, you know, um, so I'm just fixing my pillow here. The more that he had to find his way out of this illusion, he had to do it through this prayer here. He had to find his way to spirit. And so he prayed a lot. And here's the hand of God just coming down and touching the divine masculine and being like, no, this is. This is where I'm leading you. And he found, look at this face. It's like, I find solitude and prayer. I'm feeling the father energy. I'm feeling the almighty coming through and like helping me here. And it really broke a lot of his illusions. Cause as you can see, this illusion card is like so much around him, but there's like so much more expansive energy that he's lighting up more and controlling that energy around him. And what happened is that it created a lot of this sadness um, with the karmic partner. I feel like this karmic energy um this illusion is falling away she's being revealed how ugly she really is okay like look at look at her face like oh i'm a demon but it's like it's like this bright light it was like almost this illusion that she was doing you know and keeping it's almost the same colors here okay it's the same energy of keeping these illusions around is what covered her up as well and it's falling away it's almost like they're both being revealed to the truth and um it's showing her true colors here she does not look light at all and the masculine here is now gaining look at this a deep understanding of transformation these two cards came out uh one after another and look at this getting the sun god raw i'm hearing the sun god raw and gaining a lot of enlightenment and finally realizing who he is and his power in all of this darkness this masculine is really ascending okay look at the beauty of these two cards it just i can't even with that and that's what he's felt towards the karmic that he knows this karmic energy from you know this of backing off your your it's painting this masculine is definitely healed a tremendous amount of energy in regards to his own enlightenment he's tapped back into something and he's ready to fly it's very much of where that's when he'll be ready to come towards the divine feminine you know or being even free where he's at right now in this flaming glory it's really beautiful so that's where he's at towards the uh karmic let's see where the karmic is towards the masculine with his growth 
Where's the third party energy towards the masculine in this growth process? Please, spirits. Or I'm just going to get a little bit more comfortable. Where is this masculine? I mean, sorry, the karmic energy towards this masculine spirit. Where is this karmic energy towards this masculine? I feel we'll do that and then we're going to clarify with some tarot to get more detail about the entire situation. Sorry, I need a sip of water. Where is this karmic energy towards this masculine, please? Where is this karmic energy towards this masculine? I feel this karmic knows about the union. Okay. how to take this one there the art pieces are very fascinating yeah yeah okay so this karmic energy is here she has a split personality if you see there's two people in this face and this is the masculine the masculine is grayed out he's not alive he's like okay this is okay right and look she has like a dualistic type of thing it's almost like she's been possessed <laughs> she's got a lot of fire she uses a lot of sexuality that's what i'm getting from this fire passion but it's like i'm presenting myself one way and this is me in the back and so she's not completely an honest person and so she's trying to do something to she's this arm is reaching out to the eye to kind of like change the vision to try and like see things she's not expressing what she's really seeing in her perspective it's almost like she's doing something in the background to change the vision of the of the energy all around and this masculine is completely blinded to it he didn't see her way her manipulative ways and using this type of sacral energy it's almost like this is her truest self in the back, like very hidden, but something else has taken over and she's trying to see clearly, but she just can't. There's something happening with her energy, but there's like, there's two people in one body here. Okay. And you can't have two people in one body. That's a, that's a possession. Okay. Um, I feel here that she's letting go of this. This is your masculine. She's breathing out the dove of love. I feel that she has no choice at this point. She's very empty. You see the life force is leaving her. She can't sustain it. And I feel that she knows about this union. Okay. This is a really beautiful card of union. Okay. But I feel that's because she does know about the divine feminine. I feel she does know about it and she's just been holding on to something. That's the middle of the, of the, we're going to clarify this just right now because, um, it's the middle of the cards that came out for the karmic energy and the one in the near future is like she's going to be spiraling into her own darkness okay whatever karma that she put upon um that she knew she had to walk away is what i'm getting she knew that she couldn't play in this she knew that she was creating a lot of illusions she knew that she was um her because her true self is coming out she knew that she played in dark magic she doesn't believe it's dark she may believe like law of attraction you can just manifest what you want but it doesn't work like that there are laws of the universe and there is an almighty creator um that we all are part of that creator but it's like you're not god yourself you know um, it's a very humble path to gain true power of God. And so she doesn't understand that yet. She doesn't want to surrender herself because that means you have to go through your pain of healing. That's why she's about to spiral into this. Like it's like her face, see, just spiraling into this darkness with blood all around her. The blood will come back to her of what she's been doing. She's going to have to get down to humble. I'm feeling these karmic energies. Um, they're not going to be able to continue on their spiritual path the way that they've done or any illusions that they've played games before this masculine came around. I feel they've had multiple relationships. I feel that they've played men um, this way for many, 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 many lifetimes um, and using energy work to control. I, I'm really feeling that heavily. And what I'm getting here is God is saying she will not be able to gain anything until she crawls and humbles to herself after she has fallen through the darkest of her dark. And unfortunately, that's the only way that we can come into certain places of enlightenment. So let's take a look at this. Um, I'm going to clarify a little deeper because I want to get into knowing more about what this karmic energy knows about this 
union here. I feel that she knows that a choice has been made. Okay. And there's nothing that they can do. The karmic energy is nothing they can do about the divine masculine. Let's just see what's going on. Uh, because I feel like this masculine has been going to spirit, has been going to God, has been praying and is like, this is what I want. And it's revealed a lot through his prayer. Okay, spirit, what is going on with the karmic energies and divine masculine here? What is this union card here for the karmic energies? What is this? What is this union card for the karmic energies? Why is this union card here? Yeah, there's no more juggling. There's no more debating. There's no more going back and forth. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. So she, there, there's definitely a knowing of not being able to go back and forth about this connection anymore. Yeah, there's a closing off of the past here because of this union that's happening. So this karmic energy, something has definitely ended here. Okay, and what was she doing in manipulation here in regards to this first card spirit? Just, yeah, she has to let her guard down about what she was really doing. I'm going to clarify, uh, she knew what she was doing, okay, energetically doing spells, doing black magic, doing manifestation, working with energy and having no idea what they're doing, writing, you know, candle burning, all this stuff, like binding energy. You can't bind energy, guys. It's a very, it's it, that's not real paganism. That's Western paganism. It's North American paganism. There's, there's paganism that goes way beyond that. You have to actually learn ancient teachings of energy so i don't do that kind of paganism but there's there's something in regards to like um her trying to bind is what i'm seeing the energy and that she has to finally release that because it's not working these are her true colors that are coming out that the masculine is completely aware about what is this spirit about the true colors of the karmic energy yeah the truth has been revealed the seven of swords in reverse so the manipulation and everything else has been completely revealed to the masculine and this three of what was being built here out of a manipulation um three of pentacles it's also a third party situation and everything has failed okay it has been a complete failure so six of wands in reverse she's going this karmic is going into a dark hole right now they need to go look at this going into a dark hole they have they're being forced into their own shadows that's their karma they have blood on their hands before this toxicity can end this is also divorce this is happening right now because they need to end <laughs> their own karmic cycles they're fighting the going into their own darkness karmic energies don't want to go through their shadow they fight it a lot but they have they're slowly moving into that cycle okay spirit is pushing them into their own darkness so that they can understand that um they're gonna have to come humble to god they're gonna have to come humble with themselves they're gonna have to see how they actually created a lot of these issues with the divine masculine the divine feminine spirit is saying you know when the divine feminine and masculine first come together separation doesn't necessarily have to happen the twins are given an opportunity at that point to work things out but a lot of karmic energies and partners come forward because that's when you are truly tested in your faith in the connection and that's why twins are so powerful when they first come together um what's happening is this karmic energy somewhat i feel all knew about this feminine pretty much from the beginning is what I'm getting or had a suspicion and purposely manipulate. She's got a lot of blood on her hands. I'm seeing the, the red oozing from her hands. Okay. She's not just manipulated the divine feminine and the divine mass. She's manipulated family members and everybody around the situation. So let's go a little deeper about that. She's been doing a lot of black magic and not working with proper, um, thing. Yeah. Look at this. Seeing things very clearly. She's going to have to come into a place of clarity before she can move on to her happiness the chariot before she can move on to happiness and illumination she's gonna have to sit in this four of cups of complacency of sitting with their own demise and what they've done you have to repent and no matter no matter when you die from this life or no matter if you're doing it while you're in this life um this karmic energy decided to do that and so how is the masculine feeling um here because as this karmic is going through her dark it's releasing that karmic energy for this masculine to come fully into this divine beautiful energy that he's in so let's clarify that with the masculine energy releasing the karmic energy queen of cups in reverse was emotionally manipulated out of um he's slowly he's quickly moved knight of swords he's moving through the manipulation 
um, that karmic energy really emotionally played on a lot of old woundings with sex, with passion, and moving through into something you pack more passionately now and moving away from the karmic energies. We have three of wands no longer investing and planning for a future with this energy. Okay, guys. So let's um let's pull some tipper. What is this masculine energy in regards to uh, moving away from the karmic energy and his decision? I'm going to pull for the first top part how he feels towards um, divine feminine, how he feels towards uh, karmic. Let's clarify this top row here, Spirit, of how the masculine feels towards the divine feminine here. What is the masculine feeling towards the divine feminine here, please? What is the masculine feeling towards the divine feminine in the top row? <laughs> wow. Flipped. Sorry, I wasn't sure if that one had flipped. Marriage. That says it all. He wants marriage with the divine feminine. That's all I'm going to pull for that. That That's exactly what he was feeling, you know, that this is a divine marriage. It's a holy marriage. What God puts together and let no man put asunder. That's the rule. That's the truth. That's not a Bible thing where a man makes up who your person is. <laughs> it's who God actually does make together as one soul. And you can't get away from it. You can't get it. This is like a divine union. This is a marriage. And so this masculine knows that's a divine feminine. And so how is the masculine feeling towards the karmic energy right now, spirit? can't make this up guys look at this had to make a really strong decision could be going to court divorce like i was saying here with the with um the devil that was in reverse here with the karmic energy knowing that there's a complete ending here ending of toxicity this is also spirit coming in to make that final decision between two people and saying nope this is ending now this caused a lot of bad health okay this this masculine went through the brunt he's been in bed mental physical um, and I feel almost this is the karmic energy keeping him. It's almost like this woman has Munchausen disease. <laughs> I don't know why this is coming through. Okay. You know, Munchausen is like when people keep people sick on purpose to just keep them in their life because they need to, you know, it's a manipulation tactic. This karmic energy would come and pretend that she was taking care of this masculine. What can I get for you? What can I do for you? Let me be, I'm here. I'm investing in you. I'm giving, I'm taking care of you. I'm cleaning up your, I'm cleaning you up. I'm, I mean, I'm helping you. I'm bringing you food. I'm taking your temperature. I'm doing whatever I need to do to invest in this. And this manipulated the masculine to thinking that this karmic energy was bounded to him and that who would do that? Who would help me this way? You know, well, that's the lock that this masculine was sitting in, not realizing that it was all manipulation to get something in return. Um, it creates a lot of bad health for this masculine. That's how he feels. That's why a decision was made. And a new pathway is opening up here because this masculine knows that he has to leave. He has to leave and go on to a new pathway. I want to get one more on that pathway. He has a new path to go on. Yeah, look, he's he's ready to go on a journey away from this privileged lady. I see this as the karmic energy. He's leaving this behind because he's realizing that this new path is something towards the divine feminine of what he wants in marriage, okay? So he's made his decision completely, you guys. This masculine has completely made his decision. He knows what he wants. And the karmic energy is slowly starting to move on into their own path too, which is a hell shitload of darkness. I'm going to be honest right now. You do not want to be around this karmic energy. They are definitely, they may try to cause problems um, down the road, but I, I feel like they've gotten theirs. I don't, I feel the divine is completely protecting this and um, will will show the karmic where they they really have blood on their hands here because they were they're showing me to show you these two cards here this is a karmic energy and where the karmic energy is going to have to come to to realize that it's their blood on their hands and they were blaming the masculine for a lot but they were abusing the masculine look how much more blood is on the masculine he's like finally stop you're abusing me you know, a lot of men go through domestic violence, and it's a very shameful thing in our society to think that we um, demasculate our men in saying because they have emotions and feelings that they can't be hurt and abused in relationships. And a lot of it happens a lot more. And I feel this masculine has had domestic abuse, emotional abuse, manipulation in his relationships, especially with this karmic. And you know, that's to say that that is a, it's a lot of strength to be able to deal with those feelings.
feelings and those emotions and to not be demasculated that way. And this karmic was doing that completely and hasn't even started to realize the blood that they have on their hands. Okay, so there is a, a huge um, karmic cycle that's coming to an end. And um, this masculine is really done deep healing um, and coming into in a place of illumination. And a definite decision has been made here. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to pull some healing, some other healing cards here. Let's see where the masculine is at right now, Spirit. Where is the masculine currently at? in regards to his life right now um and where he yeah we're in his life right now let's just see where he's at in regards to this karmic situation as well but what's going on with the masculine <sighs> praying okay so like we said through the gossip i think there's a lot of people that have been involved it isn't just the karmic energies this is a lot of people that are gossiping talking this masculine may be well known in his community okay he's ignoring everybody right now so he's gone into his own hole to do prayer because a lot of people are talking about what's happening and this karmic energy what is going on with this masculine towards the karmic energy this is how they feel towards the karmic energy it forced them into a place of faith this masculine dealing with the karmic energy taught them how to forgive and have gratitude for the darkness. This masculine really has been transmuting everything, okay? And that's where I was getting as he was going through this with the karmic, these last two cards here, that he's he is grateful for the lessons that he's learned in this darkness, right? We did say that. It, it taught him how to have faith in God. It taught him how to be grateful for everything that he's had, for learning how to forgive in an even deeper level that brought him enlightenment and onto his his journey and look at this this is a beautiful balance this masculine has learned coming out of this karmic situation and moving towards divine feminine he's like a child coming to the father and a child coming to the mother and this is the ba the the balance the masculine is coming into massive balance in union with himself between masculine and feminine energies mother earth father sky the christ consciousness jesus buddha consciousness the father creator energy and knowing the mother and then following these these like a child coming like a child child to start fresh look at this really beautiful knowing enlightenment knowing his path knowing that he's been humbled and he's coming to finally walk uh, the path that he's been meaning to do and so he's grateful for what's happened with this karmic energy um, he's definitely pulled away. He's despondent in his life right now, which is why he's not coming towards the divine feminine. He knows that's what he wants. He's still healing, obviously, some stuff, but he's really deep in prayer. A lot of people are gossiping about this. What are people gossiping about, Spirit? Let's get one more about that. Yeah, he's isolated because of... Um, it's dissipating now. The, the gossip is going away, okay? Um because there was a lot of passion in this connection with the karmic energy too, but he's pulled away suddenly. I feel like it's been somewhat of a sudden break and um, people are like, what's going on? This was so passionate. I thought this was your person. And it's almost like a shame thing. Like people kind of quickly claim that they're twins or I kind of feel like this is what this karmic was doing. Let me see. What was this karmic saying about the masculine? Hmm. Yeah, she was saying that this was her destiny to people, and now she's confused. This karmic is confused because it's not. So this karmic didn't know really what was going on in the energies at all. Okay, had no discernment, had no knowing. No, that's why they have to fall into their darkness. You can't get enlightenment until you purify. That's just how it is. You cannot know pure light until you know pure darkness that's just how it is the deeper you go into your darkness the higher you get in your evolution process so this karmic was very confused and was telling people when i said to the cards you know what is it that this person is saying was believing that they were destined that they were the twins this karmic believed that they were meant to be together but now they're very confused what do they know about this destiny now spirit they feel guilty so this karmic is feeling guilty for tricking okay when I clarify the destiny. So this karmic energy does know that they manipulate the situation and they feel guilty. They know that they try to make their connection into a twin flame connection, not really truly knowing what this divine feminine really had with this masculine and tried to manipulate and kept, um, cause a lot of bad health for this masculine. Okay. Uh, very deep, painful health here. Very much. There's a lot of karmic that's going to, karma that's going to be playing out. This karmic per person is going to get theirs. 
All right, guys, that is your reading. So much love to you guys. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to do a reading, please send me an email. All that info is down below, and we'll be seeing you soon. Bye, guys.